This report brought to you by the Richmond Club, where investors and high-growth companies meet. I'm Galit Solomon for the Richmond Report. Nanovibronics proprietary technology is addressing some of the biggest problems in healthcare today, preventing catheter-related infections, pain management, and healing wounds. We sat down with the company's CEO, Brian Murphy, to learn more. Uh, Brian, welcome to the Richmond Report. Thank you. Um, let's begin with an overview perspective of Nanovibronics. What can you tell us about the company in about 30 seconds? Nanovibronics uh, is a NASDAQ traded company under the symbol NAOV and uh, we're based in New York with quite a few assets in uh, Israel. Uh, the company was built around a single platform technology called Surface Acoustic Wave which is low level, low frequency ultrasound. It's been incorporated into um, a couple of different products. Uh, primary products are Pain Shield and Euro Shield, and we can get more into that. Yeah, so let's take a deeper dive into the actual <coughs> products. Tell us about them and what they're used for when it comes to day-to-day -day life. So Pain Shield uh, is a pain relief device. Uh, it's intended to, to cure or heal soft tissue that's actually causing the pain. Mm -hmm. So instead of having a um, kind of a superficial device like, uh, like a TENS device, mm -hmm. uh, this is actually causing the soft tissue to heal that's causing the pain. Mm -hmm. Uh, it does it through multiple mechanisms of action, uh, including it, it's an anti-inflammatory, it increases blood flow, increases oxygenation, and uh, it actually feeds the muscle or tendon that is causing the pain. Mm -hmm. On the Euroshield side, it's an external clamp-on device that uh, clamps onto the external portion of a catheter, and it sends a, an ultrasonic wave down the catheter and this is really a problem that's been, um, you know, it, it's been enormous worldwide mm -hmm. from the standpoint of hospital acquired infection right. or um, just catheter associated urinary tract infection. Uh, the ultrasonic wave that travels down the catheter actually creates like a trampoline effect mm -hmm. and it won't allow the bacteria to adhere to the catheter okay. and therefore prevents UTI. Right, so you're talking about uh, prevention of infections and pain management with these two products. Yes. Okay. Um, we address uh, investors here at the Richmond Report, and one of the top questions on their minds is, uh, it has to do with timing. Why now? Why should we be investing in this stock right now? What would your response be to that? Well, uh, there's three primary reasons. Number one is um, the platform technology was incorporated into a product line that was uh, um, a little outdated. Mm -hmm. And when I came in, one of the things that I did was basically redesign all the products and uh, the functionality has been improved, the look and feel of them has been improved. Um, but <clears throat> primarily, we went from a manufacturing facility of 100 units a month to now Chinese manufacturing, which is about 1,500 mm -hmm. per month. That's huge. So dramatically growth, increased yeah. our ability to service customers as well as our primary strategy, which is to uh, license the technology to um, strategic partners that have large sales organizations in markets that we want to play in. Mm -hmm. uh, and then finally, um, in the U.S., we were just, just granted um, two things that are very important strategically. Number one is a federal supply schedule number, mm -hmm. which allows us to enter into the VA system. And number two is we were granted a um, dedicated Medicare reimbursement code mm -hmm. on pain shield. Right. So what does that mean for, for us folks who might not necessarily understand those specifics? Well, it opens up. Uh, so in the past, it was always private pay, mm -hmm. and uh, what this has done is it's opened up multiple strategic partner opportunities. Okay. So if you've got uh, a sales organization that is looking for a product that is in the Veterans Administration hospitals, and you've got uh, reimbursement through the FSS contract, we become a viable candidate for mm -hmm. a partnership there. Got it. Uh, okay. And the Euroshield, um, we're looking at, we're approved in Europe, 
and we're looking at a number of different opportunities there as well. Okay. You know, another question that comes to mind for investors often is, uh, who's at the helm of this company? So what can you tell us about yourself uh, and your experience? Well, uh, I came to the company about three years ago, mm -hmm. and the first year really was spent in raising money and getting the, the company up to NASDAQ. Uh, the second year, um, I, so I came to the company with uh, the chairman of the board, mm -hmm. uh, Chris Fashik. Chris and I have a long working relationship, and primarily our background is centered around commercializing products. Uh, we brought a, a number of different products to market that had uh, no track record, no, uh, no history, and uh, in one case, uh, we're able to sell the company for six billion dollars. Oh wow! Okay. So, um, the uh, I think what I bring to the table is really experience in uh, knowing how to get a product to market and uh, and commercializing it in a in a substantial way. Okay. Just before we wrap up, uh, let's look ahead to 2020 and what's ahead for Nanovibronics. Well, like I said, um, so. The Chinese manufacturing is kicking in right now, so increased capacity. Number two is maximizing what we've achieved in the United States with the two reimbursement uh, codes mm -hmm. that we've been able to, to achieve. And then third is um, we are actively pursuing uh, private label partners. We signed one, um, and we have uh, a number of products going to them. The first part, the first uh, production line um, for from China is going to fulfill mm -hmm. our first private label, okay. and we have many more in the pipeline that uh, we're working on diligently. So uh, exciting decade ahead, it sounds like, for nanovibronics. No doubt about it. <laughs> exciting year ahead, actually. Brian Murphy, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know. You've been watching the Richmond Club Report. If you've just come across this channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm sure you'll find a lot of interesting and lucrative investment and trading ideas around here. We'll see you again soon on the next video. Cheers, guys. Have an amazing and profitable day.